Okay, done. So this is the way you have to understand this. What is the solid angle we have learned? Solid angle is delta theta is equal to delta L by R using the sector property we can find, right? You know that. So what is the angle of the sector? Angle of the sector is represented by theta, central angle. And then uh, what is the formula? Theta by 360 into 2 pi. That is the length of the sector. What is the formula? Length of the sector. Theta by 360 into 2 pi. 360 into 2 pi is, gets cancelled. Then what is the remaining? L is equal to R theta. Or we can say theta is equal to L by R. So that is what given here. Okay. If it is a solid angle, we can replace delta theta as delta omega. Then delta L as delta S for solid angle. So this might be the solid angle, right, like this. Okay. So, so for solid angle, this is normal angle. Normal angle, it will be delta L. For solid angle, it will be delta S. Okay, this is delta theta. This is delta omega. Is it clear? But for solid angle, the R will be R square. Oh. Ah. This R will be R square. This is very, very important. Okay, ma. How the R will be? It will be R square. Okay, the distance is taken as. Okay. Uh, then there are two points in that particular area. It is given. That and all you, it is given. Uh, again and again, the same thing is explained. What is the angle with respect to P1 and what is the angle with respect to P2? Uh, delta omega, it is clearly explained. What is the R2? R2 is equal to OP2. So from O to P2, that is R2. What is the R1? O to P1. This is R1. This is R2. Okay. So delta omega for the first area will be, what is the first area? Delta L by R1. R1 is OP1. Okay. What is delta omega for P2? Second area. Second area. Delta S by R square. So OP2 square. So like the way it is explained. Okay. So, since it is a solid angle, three-dimensional, definitely the field clearly has a 1 by R square dependence. What the point? The field is, actually speaking, the field is 1 by R square dependence. Okay? So, electric field, definitely, it is depending upon inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two points we took. Okay? This is known as line of force. Okay? Is it clear for you? We draw now the lines of force. In magnetic terms, we'll uh, learn in the subsequent chapters. Don't worry about this. Okay. The electric field lines are thus a way of pictorially map mapping the electric field. So what is electric fields now? We are do mapping the electric field. Okay. So an electric field a line is in general a curve drawn in such a way that the tangent to it at each point is in the direction of the net field at that point. We can say like that. Okay. So this is how we can show. If it is, what type of charge it is? The field. See the field. Is it radially outwards or inwards? Outwards. So it is positive charge. What about this one? Yeah. Otherwise, we can say Q is greater than 0 and Q is less than 0 also, we can say. Clear? Okay. Suppose if there is two charges, two positive charges are here, there is a force of repulsion, right? The field will be outwards. Okay. As we have told, it like a curve. At the remaining place, it, it should be like a tangent. The curve's tangent. Okay. So, how the charges will be, it gets deflected like this. Since these are two like charges, if the two charges are opposite, unlike charges, then the field will be like this. 
from positive to negative. The curve will be from positive to negative. Okay, like the same. So if there is a positive and negative charge, then definitely the field will be like this, positive to negative. Is it clear? So uh, these are all given. Under this picture, you must understand what is electric fields, field lines. Okay. We can draw the lines in order to explain the electric field. Okay. What is electric flux? Electric flux is the number of field lines crossing per unit area. That is electric flux. Okay. So, so what is an electric flux now? It is the number of field lines crossing per unit area. That is field electric flux. Others? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what it is given, you are considering a flow of liquid with velocity V. Okay. Through a small flat surface, delta S, in a direction normal to the surface. Normal means perpendicular. You can write in your notebook, it is perpendicular only. The rate of flow of liquid is given by the volume crossing the area per unit time. Okay, that is V into dS. So, what is V into dS? V is actually, what is V? Yeah, velocity, meter per second, it is measured in. What is dS? dS is in the area. So, meter cube. Square. So, meter into meter square will be meter cube. Right? So, what is velocity? Unit of velocity is meter per second. What is the unit for ds? You just see that. So, m square. So, m into m, m square will be meter cube. So, what is meter cube? Volumes measure. So, meter cube per second. Right? Clear? So, meter, meter cube means it is volume. We can conclude the area per unit time. Per unit time, we are talking about, right? So, what is the area? Volume, volume is equal to area per unit time. Okay, so meter cube by second. So, if you divide by time, the time will cancel. Is it clear for you? Okay. Then, so we consider this as a volume. Volume crossing the area per unit time, it is, it is VDS and represents the flux of uh, liquid flowing against the plane. Okay, it is, seems to be a flow of liquid. Okay, it is just exaggerated like that. Okay, because we can't see the flux lines or electric field lines. Instead of that, in order to have, I mean, uh, a clear idea, it is given an example. Okay, the surface. If the normal to the surface is not parallel to the direction of flow of liquid to V, but makes an angle theta with it like this. All these field lines are not parallel, but it is perpendicular to the surface. But individually, it is not parallel. Purida, the lines are not parallel. But in the surface, it is perpendicular. But in the surface, it is perpendicular. Clear? Others? Yes, ma'am. So, it is perpendicular to the projected area and it is not parallel. So, what they have concluded, V is delta ds cos theta. And then, therefore, therefore, the flux going out of the surface ds is V dot n into ds. What is this? Velocity means the field line is, all the electric field lines are flowing like a liquid. We are exaggerating like that. If it is flowing, then it has the volume crossing the area per unit time. That is the rate of flow of liquid. So, V into dS. Okay. Since V is the vector, okay, which is normal to the surface, which is perpendicular to the surface. So, perpendicular means it should be perpendicular to the normal vector. We are taking this. Here, ds is not a vector. ds is the surface area. Okay. So, what is a dot b? What is the scalar product you have learned? A, b cos theta. Modulus a, modulus b cos theta. So, what is v dot n cap ds? Modulus of v vector, modulus of n cap 
ds cos theta. Okay. What is the n cap? Modulus of n cap is the unit vector. 1. ds cos theta. So, this is equal to v ds cos theta. Is it clear for you? That is what is clearly given. Is it clear? Understood? Okay. That is fine. This, this flow of liquid is now analogous quantity with the electric flux. For your clear understanding, we couldn't understand about the electric flux, right? So for that, they are comparing with the electric, I mean, they are comparing with the liquid flow. Okay? Is it clear now? So in this picture, the electric field is explained. See this picture? This is area. The electric field is always perpendicular. Okay. What is the first picture shows? It is the area, delta S. Here also it shows like this. Okay. Now here, what did you understand? The theta is exactly here. Area and the delta S will be delta S is like this. And the electric field is like this. Okay. So there is an angle. That angle is exactly equal to 0 degree. Okay, here some angle perpendicular. See, this is perpendicular. But how it makes an angle? Delta is how it makes an angle. That is what given. Is it clear for you? E D S if theta is equal to 90 degrees, then it will be zero, right? There is no flux lines. Is it clear? So this is how the area is oriented. See the next one. This is delta S. This is the normal. This is how the area is oriented. Okay. If you take the area like this, this is also given. Is it clear? Yes. So, so, so the normal is clearly explained in these two pictures. Okay. Then what is the flux? The flux can be explained by means of delta phi. Okay, the change in flux, the flux lines. We can define electric flux by means of E into delta S into cos theta. Okay, clear? You know about how, del how this cos theta comes, you know, right? You can take E and delta S cos theta as one or E cos theta and delta as one. E times the projection of area normal to E. So, if E is perpendicular to delta S, the component of E along the normal to the area element times the magnitude of the area element. So, what is the meaning? Phi is equal to E delta S cos theta. E is Newton per coulomb. Delta S is meter square. This is the unit of flux. Newton meter square per coulomb. So, you are taking one, one small area, like differentiating. So, out of the whole, you are taking one small area. This could be expanded more. Okay, integrated or summation. So, if you take overall summation, the flux formula will be approximately equal to summation over E dot L by S. Is it clear for you? For small element, we can take like this. Uh, for all overall, we can we have to apply summation. Summation over E dot delta S. Is it clear? So the approximation sign is given here. Okay. So for small area element, we can take why this approximation? Delta S will not be same. So this delta S will not be same like this. Will not be same like this. That, that must be a small approximation. So that we can say, as a total, it is approximately equal to summation over E dot delta S. Okay? This is mathematically exact only when you take the limit, delta S tends to zero. So as, as usual, we know, right? Delta S is approaching to zero. Small changes. All delta S will be having small changes. Is it clear for you? This is delta S. Okay? 
uh, first of all, you must understand how you define an area with respect to the electric field. You can define an area with respect to the electric field, right? Yeah. Okay. How the electric field and the normal should be. The electric yeah. field is always normal to the surface area. That means it should be definitely 90 degrees. But we can't say it is exactly 90 degrees. If you take the surface area like this, then there must be an angle. Is it clear for you? Okay. So, the formula is E dot delta S into normal. This is the formula. Okay. So, E delta S and cos theta. Okay. At final, we can take summation over E dot delta S. Okay. This is the flux, which is approximately equal to. Initially, we had to take delta phi only. For each and every small area, we can take only delta phi for delta S. And then finally, it will be summation. If you take summation, then it will be phi. Phi is the electric flux. Okay, ma. So this is the formula. And then here it is clearly mentioned about how the area is connected with the normal. How you can say normal? The field is normal to the surface area. If you take a sheet of charges like this, if you take a sheet of charges like this, depends upon the area. The area might be anything. Depends upon the area, you can take down the normal like this. Okay? Normal means perpendicular. Is it clear for you? If two charges plus Q and minus Q it is separated by a small distance. Okay. Then it is said to be dipole. So what about plus Q and minus Q? Minus Q, is it uh, like charges or unlike charges? Whatever it might be? Charges. Unlike charges. What is its condition? Unlike charges. Is it ritual or attract? attract? Right. So it should be, the dipole should be maintained, right? What is, it, what is meant by dipole? Both the side it is having polarity, opposite polarity. So it should be maintaining the distance so that it should not get attracted or it should not be get separated further. If it is separated further, then what happens? We, we can't say this as dipole. That should be considered a single charge, single point charges. Clear, Adash? Yes, ma'am. Now, we have to grow. What is the dipole? Two identical opposite charges. The charges must be identical, but it is opposite. Which is get separated by a small distance 2A. That small distance has to be maintained in between two charges so that it won't get attracted or it won't get as for deviated. If it is deviated, then we don't consider that as a dipole. That is considered as a single charge. Single point charges. Purida, the two A lava rumba jati in the snap plus Q in your room, minus Q in your room. Up in the Tanitani charges, other of a considered pun, Tanitani point charges considered pun. Dipola solomato. If a rented charge may rent the charge or a center may point to dites, rent to be attract dites now, plus Q, minus Q, minus solomato. Dipole solomato. Purcha diaper meaning for the. So what is the dipole? Dipole is the now say to me, what is the dipole? Two identical opposite charges get separated by a small distance to A. Okay, this is given in your book. So, uh, so first of all, you saw electric field due to point charge and the system of charges. Mm -hmm. So, we are now going to see the field of an electric dipole. Chariya? So, electric field due to electric dipole, we are going to see now. So, first, this is the dipole axis. Two cases we are going to see here. What is the first case? The first case is the point, you are taking the electric field at a point which is on the dipole axis. This is the dipole axis. You can take any point on the dipole axis. Okay? And then, Next one, equatorial plane of the dipole. Equatorial plane means you have to take a point here. 
that is equidistance from two charges. Okay, others? Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? The charge, electric field due to the charge minus Q will be designated by E minus Q. Okay, due to charge plus Q will be designated by E plus Q. Okay, you are giving designation by means of this. Okay, since E Q and E minus Q, these are all two vectors. So, we have to use the parallelogram law of vector addition for doing all the calculations, okay? So, you have to recall all the class 11 uh, vector additions, vectorial chapters, okay? That also I put a video, video lesson for vector in our uh, channel, okay? Just go through that if you want. What is parallelogram law of addition and then uh, triangle of addition, okay? So, now we are going to see the point on the x-axis. Listen carefully. Where is the point now? here right where is the dipole here plus q and minus q you have taken p from the center to the p it will be r consider r okay let the point p at a distance of, you have to write all these things more nowadays all the children you are not writing any construction point of view you are, just, you, are, you are just simply writing all the derivations, right? Don't write, don't write directly all the derivations. You have to explain. Okay, explain and then draw this. Everything is needed. Okay. So what is P? P is the point where it is located at a distance R from the center of a dipole. Is it clear? Okay. So, and then what is plus Q and minus Q you know? Now we are going to calculate E plus Q and E minus Q. That is electric field due to plus Q and electric field due to minus Q at this point. Electric field due to plus Q will be move outwards. Electric field due to minus Q will be move inwards. Is it clear? So this idea we are going to calculate the electric field. You know what is an electric field, right? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Q by R square. So instead of R, we are considering E minus Q first. So this is E minus Q from minus Q. Yeah. What is from minus Q? What is from minus Q? This is A, right? Are you listening? Adash? Yes, ma'am. So this is R, this is A. What is the total distance from minus Q to P? This is A. A plus R. A plus R. Or R plus A. Can we write like this? Adash Purida? No, yes, ma'am. So what is E minus Q? E minus Q is nothing but electric field due to negative charge. So from negative Q to P, it will be A. Because from the center, uh, I mean, what is the distance between plus Q and minus Q? It will be 2A. So, from the center to this minus Q, it will be A. So, R plus A, right? So, instead of R, you have to write this one. Q will be negative. So, negative Q by 4 by epsilon naught. R plus A, the whole square. Is it clear for you? Here, P vector is given for unit vector. Clear? Okay. Instead of writing, instead of writing R vector or N vector, here P vector is given for unit vector. Is it clear for you? Okay. Arian. So then, next one. What is E plus Q? 4 pi epsilon naught R minus A, right? Where is plus Q? Plus Q to the point P. Adash, you have to subtract. Yes, you have to subtract A from R. This distance yes, I'm talking about. This is R minus A. This one is R plus A. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So, and then we are going to find the total field P at P. So, add these two. 
take an LCM. So as you two are math student, you know about all these things, right? So take an LCM and then find. I didn't see where, where and all you are using LCM fractional addition and all. This is very important. Okay. Okay. So and then what is the result in you are taking? A is very much less than or. This A is very, very less than or. So neglect A from this. So what is the remaining? Q by 4 by epsilon naught. 4 A R by R per 4. So 1 R gets cancelled. So R cube will be there. Is it clear for you? Then, then we are going to calculate what is this 4 Q A. Okay. By 4 pi epsilon naught R cube into P gap. So this is the electric field due to dipole on the axial line. Okay. So it is axial point of view. Okay. Is it clear for you? I, I think, I hope you can take an LCM of these. Or you want more explanation? You can take an LCM, right? What is the LCM of this? R minus A the whole square and R plus A the whole square. Right. So you are going to multiply this. R minus A the whole square. So then expand. R square plus A square minus plus 2A. Here it will be minus. Okay. So these and all gets cancelled. So 4AR it will be coming. Right. Then what is A plus B and A minus B? A square minus B square. Right. So what is this? R minus A, the whole square, and R plus A, the whole square. So what is this? A minus, you can take whole square outside. Okay? So then, what is this? What is A plus B into A minus B? A square minus B square. Can we write like this? this is the okay? Is it clear for you? Okay. So this is the electric field due to dipole on the axial part. Then we'll see about electric field due to that equatorial point. Equatorial point means I have told you what is equatorial point. It is equidistant from this. Okay. What is E plus Q will be? E plus Q will be in this direction. Outwards. Radially outwards from this point. E minus Q will be radially inwards in this point. So these two are the fixed vectors and then you are going to calculate its resultant by means of parallelogram law of addition. That is the diagonal. What is the parallelogram law of addition? This is parallelogram law of addition, right? Okay. Yes, so like the way E is the resultant. Now we are going to calculate that. Okay, total E. Total E plus Q and E minus Q. First of all, we are going to calculate E plus Q. That is Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. What is R square plus A square? How it is calculated? So listen carefully. They have considered this as a right angle triangle. Out of it, what is this? R and A. Okay, using Pythagorean theorem, we can calculate Q, Q and P, right? Yeah, root of R square plus A square, right? What is Pythagorean theorem? Hypotenuse side square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, height is equal to root of R square plus A square. Okay. So, but in the formula, you will be having square, right? This is the R here. That is R here. Is it clear for you? So, R square means the root will cancel. Clear or not? Okay. Here also root of R square plus A square. If you take a square, then it will cancel. So we, these two are equal now. Okay. If we add these two, then what will happen? So, what, so Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by R square plus A square. Here also both are equal, right? Okay. If it is plus, plus and minus, 
then it both the both the thing can be cancelled, right? Is it clear for you? Ning end up under minus q plus q at the beginning. Ready add pending in total of cancel it. Is it clear for you? So the total electric field is opposite to P. Okay. Which one is opposite to P? Total electric field. That's why it comes under all or plus plus. We have taken whole negative. Is it clear? Okay. So add these two. So what is the reasoning? What is the final answer? You have to add these two. 1 by R square plus A square by 1 by R square plus A square. What is that? Um, yeah. A, A. Yeah, I will explain you that. So that is R square plus A square, right? So Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by R square plus A square. You just add these two and then your answers will be like this. I'm just coming to that point. So many hidden things are this. In this page, I will explain you from this. We are going to substitute E plus Q. Negative. What is E plus Q? This one. Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R square plus H square. Here also Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R square plus H square. Got it? Then, why they have taken cos theta into P? That is for representing opposite side, right? So, cos theta into P cap. That is there. Then, you have taken all the common side. 